Hey Virgo, um, two of wands. Excellent card. This is about planning. It's about goals. It's about looking towards the future. So this definitely tells me, Virgos, I'm guessing a lot of you are kind of tired of being single, but at the same time, you have a lot going on for you. Maybe career, um, kids, etc. And you're kind of like the two of wands is the beginning stages of looking forward into the life, into life, into what you want, into your goals. And so the two of wands is telling me your theme is that you want to plan something. Now, if it was the three of wands, it would be a partnership planning, meeting with somebody else. The thing I love about the two of wands for you guys is that it feels like you're getting your ducks in a row and now you're finally going, okay, I think I'm ready to take the next step to meet somebody. Because a lot of you, I feel like have been like, you know, I need to be good with me. I need to, some of you are tired of crappy relationships. Some of you are tired of accepting less than the best or, or settling for something um, when you deserve more. So this tells me a lot of you have been kind of um, self-love, right? And, and figuring out what you want, making your plans, your goals, looking at your future. And now I feel like in the next few months, bringing somebody else in, um, allowing that connection to come in because you're, you know, getting your life in order right now the next card you have is your first or your current position i almost said your first i don't know what i was going to say but you have the eight of pentacles and this goes along with exactly what i was talking about okay the eight of pentacles is about hard work it's about dutiful it's about responsibility which of course you're an earth sign and this represents the earth sign um you know group but this is telling me you are at hard at work you do want to find somebody, but that is not, it doesn't feel like that's your main goal. Again, because this two of wands is planning for yourself, planning for your future. And I feel like you wouldn't deny or say no to somebody who wanted to come in, maybe take you out to dinner, go on a date, but that is not your main concern right now. You're, you're not walking around going, I gotta meet somebody, gotta meet somebody. No, you're making sure your house is aligned, that your ducks are in a row, that your finances, your career, your kids, your pets, your whatever is all in line. Because I feel like before when you meet people, everything would kind of get out of whack. You, you know, change your situation for them or you, it was like you were trying to fit in, you know, the round peg in the square hole. And now you're kind of like, no, the next person who comes in my life is going to do it um, organically. It's not, I'm not going to have to change my life around for them. I'm not going to have to, you know, it, it, it's going to be like a comfortable fit. Okay. The next card you have is how you're feeling coming into the month, um, which is interesting because Virgo reconciliation got this card, but in a different position. So the two of pentacles, this is how you're feeling balance, change priorities. That's what the two of pentacles represents. This definitely tells me that you guys are not focused on finding somebody unless this person can come in undisruptive because you've dated people in the past that it's been like a frenzy or a fury. I feel like you've been like all over the place or like they come in and they, they need all your time and attention and now you're lacking with, you know, time and attention to your kids or your job or, and you're just kind of like, no, you're not disrupting my circle. And that's not a bad thing. That's actually really healthy because if you let your whole life go in different places because you meet somebody it's going to get out of whack really fast so this is you coming into the month going i will know if i feel balanced with somebody right away like almost like you're in tune with your own psyche this month and saying okay why do i feel uncomfortable around this person okay well guess what they're probably not going to balance you out so next but if you feel happy and joyful and, and laughing and you know whatnot then obviously you understand what i'm getting at then i think your gut will play a lot of a lot in the next few months as far as how you feel about somebody or how you feel like they're going to fit into your current situation. The next card you have, and this makes perfect sense, is your distant past. You have the Knight of Wands. Distant past could be five, ten years. It could be recent. I feel like for some of you, it's in the past few years. And this is what I was talking about, this type of energy that comes in and disrupts everything. The Knight of Wands is fast moving and very sensuous and very courageous, but also very um, charming, very you know, can charm your socks off, but then like maybe it fizzles out and all of a sudden you're like, whoa, it was really a really exciting ride. And it took me through a lot of roller coasters and a lot of bumps, but in the end, it like knocked off my stability. It, it didn't make me feel like I was left with anything other than like a mess to clean up, if that makes sense. So, and for some of you, this could be Maybe the reason you're being so cautious now is because you watched your parents go through something similar where, you know, there was crazy. Maybe you have a parent who's single and got married 10 times or whatever. And you're just kind of like, I don't need the charmed life. I saw the best quote the other day. 
It was something like, spoil me with loyalty. I can finance myself. And I kind of feel like that's the perfect quote for this. And I wish I knew who said it because I would totally quote them, but I don't think it said who it was. Um, and I'll put it down below if I can find it. So that way I can give them the proper, um, you know, like introduction or proper name for it. But yeah, it was something about along the lines of like, spoil me with loyalty, I can finance myself. And I feel like that's kind of how this is playing out for you guys, especially with the Knight of, of um, Wands coming up because it's, it's almost like, you don't want a charmer. You don't want somebody to come in and tell you exactly what they think you want to hear. You want somebody who's here for the long haul. You want somebody who is hardworking like you, who's not just here to have a good time. I mean, it's not that you're opposed to having a fling or, you know, everybody could use one every once in a while, right? But this is you being like, I'm determined and dedicated to make my life the best I can. Um, so I'm not here for a whirlwind affair. I'm here for something pretty serious. The next card you have is your immediate past over the past few weeks, past month or so, and you have the world. So this definitely says that you've completed some sort of cycle. The world is the end of the major arcana, and it also represents completion, a major completion. So this tells me you've gotten your ducks in a row or you're trying to do that. And now you've come to the end of the cycle where you're going, okay, it would be nice to have somebody in my life. It would be nice to have that connection, that communication, that touch, etc. The world is also accomplishment. So I really do feel like a lot of you are heightened when it comes to career and kids and finances like that is your get-go that is what you've been focusing on that is where you're going because you have all these encouraging cards of work and stamina and and you know basically you know keeping your shit together and the world i like seeing because this tells me that maybe you had a project you were working on or maybe you were like all right i'm gonna get to the point where my credit's high enough to buy a house or you know i want to get my kids through high school whatever it is for you and it feels like you're accomplishing these things one by one and now you're thinking about you know encompassing some sort of romantic relationship the next card you have is your distant future so over the next um two, three months, and you have the two of wands. Now I love this, you have the two and the two. So twos may be symbolic for you. Oh, you have another two. So you have twos, I'm guessing that it's either you see the number 222 a lot, you see the number 1212 a lot, or it's two months, two weeks, um, something significant with two years. But anyways, again, two of wands, groundbreaking, accomplishment, looking forward, looking at those goals. So over the next few months, that's what you're doing. But your goals, I feel like, are going to include some sort of romantic prospect. I don't feel like you're going to rush out and be like, hey, baby, what's your name? What's your sign? Like, I feel like it's going to be more of a general, like, okay, I'll go to this meetup group or, hey, okay, girls, let's go to, or guys or, you know, whatever pack, like, let's go to you know let's go to a, a bar let's go to a not that that's the best place to meet people but hey you can meet people anywhere but you know what i mean like there's gonna be some sort of like let's get together and go somewhere where we know there's a lot of single people i don't feel like you're signing up for every single single dating site going when am i gonna meet you know mr or mrs like it's just a very you're, you're not losing sight of the end game of what's important to you just to find somebody to be romantic with the next card you have is your immediate future, although this person may be coming in quicker than you think because this row is like amazing and then you have the two twos here um, because this is the immediate future and you have the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is happiness, it's peace, it's joy, it's family. It's also very accomplished. So I feel like you're coming into your own. It's really like, oof, I just got this like very encouraging chill, like pit of my stomach, like bubbling over encouragement like things are on the upswing for you yes there's gonna be hiccups every once in a while but I don't want to negate how bad or how bad how good this is like and how bad you've wanted this success for so long because this is like coming into everything you've always wanted so I feel like some of you really have had some major strides and now you're ready you feel accomplished and you want to share that with somebody and some of you may be coming in quick because I mean have this pop up here means like it's going to keep going. It's not disappearing. And there he or she is. All right. So the next card you have is something tangible throughout the month. Um, and you have the Empress. The Empress is a very motherly figure. So this could be somebody you meet that you could possibly end up having kids with or want having kids with. If your idea of having kids is adopting pets, then there you go. Maybe you're adopting like five pot belly pigs. But the, the Empress card is definitely a nurturing, a very... Um, fruitful, sensuous, full of creation, full of vivation, energy. And so this person is coming your way. They're going to 
Um, I think they're going to encourage you to move this two to a three. They're going to encourage you, but it's not this whirlwind, like, again, telling you what they think you want to hear. It's a genuine, they genuinely want to get to know you. And they're going to show that in, in different ways. Um, but I feel like you're meeting this person like organically and I laugh because I want to giggle because I, I don't know why I want to giggle, but it's almost like you're going to meet this person and like, you're going to be like, did that just happen? You were at the gas station or the grocery store out with friends or something. And they were like, Hey, how's it going? How are you? And you're like, you know, it's just weird. Like this tiny little banter turns into like, Hey, do you want to exchange? And it feel, but in my stomach, I feel really giddy. Like, I don't know. Like, like this is strange and awkward and very uncomfortable, but at the same time, like, Hey, this person's really attractive. So something is going to happen that may put you, I'd love to hear from you guys, you know, in a month to tell me that you met some awkward person or met in some, you're in the elevator or something. I don't know. Cause it just makes me want to laugh. Like you're going to be like, what did that just happen? So anyways, this person is popping in, whether they're the love of your life, I don't know, but this is somebody that like Empress can represent a motherly figure, which tells me long-term. The next card you have is anything you're going to feel throughout the month. All right. So this is very interesting. This ties into what I was talking about. The Seven of Cups is about temptation. It's about wishful thinking. It's about, but it's also about fulfillment. So I feel like you're going to have a couple scenarios here, Virgo. You're going to have a scenario where um, somebody comes in and they're this energy, like sweep you off your feet, but you still in the back of your mind have this, I don't know if I trust that. I don't know if this is real. I don't know if they're being real with me. And then you're going to have this person who comes in that may be slower moving or maybe not as maybe they do little things. It's the little things you notice that they do, um, trying to get to know you, not these grandiose gestures. Like anybody can bring you flowers, right? But can they remember like your childhood story of your favorite piece of candy? And I don't know why that just popped in here. Somebody's gonna have something going on with candy this month and not like a box of chocolates, like a specific, uh, like a package of candy or a small thing of candy. I can't explain. But the seven of, this is how you're feeling. So internally, you're hoping that this isn't too good to be true with anybody you meet but at the same time i feel like there's somebody who you're very tempted which hey if you want to have a fling while you're looking i mean there's nothing wrong with dating and having a good time um doesn't always have to be the one you know the the the, the one and only um but this is you kind of going back and forth like i'm gonna have a good time but at the same time i don't want to be tempted by something that's not like that's not true to itself if that makes sense like if it's a, if it acts like a duck and you know, quacks like a duck, then it's a duck in somebody might be like the duck in disguise. If that like the, a lion in sheep's clothing. All right. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. You'll figure it out. The next card you have is your hopes and fears to the out of the outcome of the month. And you have the Knight of Cups. So very interesting. You have two knights in this row. The Knight of Cups is writing your own story. It's, um, it's, uh, it's very similar to this. It's a, it's a, um, very wishful, very fanciful, kind of a romantic energy. Um, the Knight of Cups is somebody that um, they, they, I don't know, they be, they, they, it's like a dreaming. They dance to the beat of their own drum, so to speak, right? So it's a very whimsical type feeling. So again, I feel like your fear is that it's almost like Virgo, whether this, like, even if you don't meet somebody who is being um, not dis disingenuous, um, you're almost like worried that it's too good to be true. So don't worry about that so much. Cause I feel like that's in your own head with this person. I feel like this is you going, Oh, this seems pretty dreamy. I don't know if this could be true, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much stock into that. All right. And then the outcome, well, the outcome is justice and justice is Libra's card. So you could be dealing with a Libra, but on top of that, justice is a marriage card. So you could, I mean, kids and marriage, you could be dealing with somebody that could be a lifelong partner. Justice is also about cause and effect. And I think that's what's going to help you weed through any concerns of not being able to tell if somebody's being real with you. Because it's going to be like justice will serve itself. So something tells me that you're going to meet a couple people. You know, some of them are going to be flaky. Some of them are going to tell you all these grandiose gestures. and your But your gut is going to be on high alert this month where you're going to be like, ah just not quite sure that you're telling me the truth. I think you're going to be able to read between the lines, but I find it very interesting that you have the justice card again, which is a lot of times like justice of the peace, you know, marriage type symbolism. And then you have the empress here, which is a maternal figure um, that could be, you know, sign of card or sign of cards, sign of kids. All right. So your clarifying card for the outcome 
the justice is the magician. The magician is a manifesting card. The magician can do whatever they want. This is somebody who manifests what they want. So if you put out into the universe that you just want temptation, that you just want somebody kind of on the side, friends with benefits, which, hey, more power to you, no judgment whatsoever. Sometimes that's healthy. You just need, you know, uh, I'm not even going to go there. Um, but the magician is like, what you put out there is what you're going to get back. So just be very careful. It's a very good thing because if you're putting out genuine, I have, I'm going places in my life and I want somebody to come along for the ride, that's what you're going to find. Um, if you put out more of a temptation vibe or, you know, you're not up, up front and forthcoming about what it is you want, um, then you're going to get the same. It's basically what you put in the universe, you're going to get back. But the Magician's a beautiful card. It's very interesting because this is right after the Fool, which is the beginning of a new cycle, and you have the end of the old cycle in your immediate past. So you're definitely closing a door and opening a new door. Now, your clarifying card here for the two is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is very responsible, very pragmatic. So this tells me that you're going to keep your wits about you. And I think that's something you've been concerned about before, is that you will have this temptation that ends up kind of rose-colored glasses, right? And this is you over the next couple of months, maintaining and balancing what's important to you, not losing sight of your goals, the goals you've been working so hard to achieve and accomplish and complete, etc. But also inviting in um, because this is aspiring. The, the uh, Page of Pentacles is also aspiring for bigger and better things. And that's where this relationship develops, or that's where this friendship slash romantic um, co connection starts to begin. So, all right, Virgo singles, I can't wait to hear all about it. 